Good morning, everyone. My name is Utoxin, and welcome back to Utoxin Plays Factorio. All right, you see before you the monstrosity which I have created. Um, let me actually do I have lights? I don't have lights requested. Let me let me get lights requested. Um, can I craft some lights? I can. Let's craft some lights. It's wasteful, but you know whatever. Um, so yeah. Um, what this beast does, in case it's not obvious, is it takes the train unloading output and it sorts it out into a, a silo for each individual resource. Um, I, I have all the unloading going on up here and then it goes through a, a 5 to 4 here just because I probably didn't need the 5 to 4. Now that I'm more familiar with what I how I chose to do this, um, but it's what I did. Uh, when this finishes, I might tear out the five to four. I don't know. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. It 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 wasn't necessary in the long run, um, but this just basically pushes each resource across as it comes down, um, and yeah, it gets sorted out. So, this is, yep, this is going to work its way through. And we will have our delivery of uh, mineral catalysts right there. Okay, yeah, that's, that's a decent, it's a decent number to have. All right. So now we need to implement this. Let's see. I'm gonna need some space here to do belt routing. So let's come down to around here. That should be sufficient, I would think. Um, and then we're just gonna space these like so. Yeah, like so. Um, so, iron, copper, lead, and tin. Uh, these all get productivity modules. I may speed module these guys. Because um, if I look at productivity, this can produce 35 iron per second. Um, I may want that to be faster. Um, so if I made... Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and craft one. I think technically I have them crafted in my network, but they don't use a lot in the way of resources that I have to handcraft, so it's not terribly inefficient. Okay. So, I could pretty easily power a pair of these like so, and do that. And medium electric poles, let's do this. Um, we will come up from here. All right, so with one of these, how does how does this look now? Now, in theory, it could do 204 per second. That's overkill. <laughs> that is way overkill. Um, so if I just do two, 119, that's still, I mean, what's, what's a purple belt? A purple belt is 53 per second. So that's enough to saturate a purple belt. Um, I'm, I may want faster in the future. Hmm. How do I want to do this? Do I want...
We'll go with like this. So I'm gonna need three more of these guys. Let's get those crafted. Um, and then if I need to, I can like set another one of these. I can set another pair down here. Um, that should be good. I mean, how much does this need in the way of resource input now? 17 per second from two of them and eight from that, okay. All right, I, I can cope with that. Okay, this is about to finish up. Um, that can go like so. Like so. And like so. All right, so resources. Um, so this is sapphorite. Yeah, so this is going to be sapphorite and jivalite, which is what these need coincidentally. Good. Um, so let me pull up my sheet on my other screen. Um, oh, I, I can't see there. Um, Stereotype and Crotinium. So that takes those two. This takes Crotinium and Rubite. So that takes those two. Stereotype and Bobmonium. So that's this one and this one. Okay, that's that's not too bad, actually. Boom, boom. Yeah, like these two just go over here. Okay. Okay. Do like so. Um, actually, these need a, a perfectly even split. Um, so that's like 34 for two machines for another pair of these. And this holds, okay, you know what? We're gonna do this. All right. You're gonna go there. And you're going to come um, over here like so. Um, need a splitter. There we go. Um, just for good measure, we're gonna do like this. I'm gonna send that underneath. Um, we're gonna do the same thing with this. Um, How much of it do you need? 16, okay, yeah. Um, how do I want to do this? Um, You 
come to there. You go to there. There we go. And then... And then I can unload the machines. Let's see. Um, we're gonna steal one of you just so I can. All right. That goes like that, just for future reference. Then this... Let's see. I'm gonna unload out the bottom into this thing. So what if we do... Like so... There we go. There. Perfect. Um, so then that goes there and there. Then I can easily put in another pair of these if I need to up my production even more. Um, you're going to go on that. You're going to go like that. Um, boom, boom. Then we can bring these together like so. And there we go. There's our output belt. Okay. Perfect. I like it. I like it. Um, yeah. So then, uh, let me minimize something so I can see... There we go. Sorry, I, I couldn't see my timer. Uh, so you're going to get something similar. Um, okay. So your main resources... I mean, if I grab a blueprint of these, I cut out that, uh, that, and that. So that goes there, there, and there. Okay. So, hmm. out of pieces parts but yeah I think I can get this set up so everything else gets run through here it's gonna be some amazing belt spaghetti but I kind of like that I this is this is gonna be a really cool spaghetti-ish build um, 
and I'm curious to see how that goes. Uh, I will wait for my supplies to get here, and we will be, and we will be back so we can finish this up. Uh, see you guys in just a minute. And we are back. All right. Um, I got distracted and accidentally finished this off camera. <laughs> At least the the spaghetti portion of it. Um, but I believe this is the build. Um, I think this will work. It's crazy and spaghetti-ish, and I love it. How does it look on the map? Oh, it looks it looks fantastic on the map. <laughs> that looks amazing. Okay. Um, yeah. So this is the mineral catalyst processing, and we'll get our four um, outputs down here. So what we need to do um, at this point is the loading station, and I'm trying to figure out from here... Um, Okay, so what we'll do is we'll output from here. Okay, I, I, I think I know what we're going to do. Um, we're going to have uh, spots like this. We're going to need... Um, okay, we're going to use more of these than is strictly necessary, but that's okay. We're going to have that. We're going to have these wired in. Okay, like so. And let's see, these will have enable conditions. Okay, yes. So. This is iron ore, so the enabled condition on this will be uh, iron ore. Is that in here? Yes. Iron ore. If there is less than, we'll say 20,000 ore. Okay. This is copper. Yes, this is copper. This is lead. Mm -hmm. And this is tin. So there we go. That will allow ore to flow out of the production facility if there's less than 10,000 of it down in our base down here. Um, we're gonna need a four to five balancer. Um, that's a five to four, I need a four to five. Uh, and we're going to line this up right along there. Okay. Uh, we're going to go ahead and upgrade that. There we go. Uh, how are we doing? We're at 64 of these? Okay. Okay, this comes along like so. Like so. Okay. So that will get me five balanced belts out, fed by all of these. Then I need five more warehouses for the output. Okay, yes, I like this. Um, so let me get in here, make four of these. Uh, the supplies for the fifth one will be on their way. 
this is this is a kind of cool build. Um, it's got good productivity. Should work well. Uh, there we go. Okay. All right, there come my supplies. All right, I should be able to almost. Yep, iron plates are on their way. Go ahead and make another one. Okay. Yeah, come on. That's that's a good chunk of it. We'll call that good. Um, nope, nope. I need... Here, we'll use this one. Um, there, should do. Okay. Now I need to run the exit line, the, the, the loading line down here. So go grab this one up here. There we go. So, oh, this way. I think this would look better if I did this. Yeah, that looks better. Okay. So then these get ultimate stack inserters, like so. There we go. Uh, and I need to grab some power. Um, yeah, that, that's fine. That's, it's centered. So these all need wired up. Uh, 
to there. And then we're going to need the train stop. Okay. Wait. Did I... Oh, I needed to move these. Because <sighs> these need to be one point up from the track, and they were two. All right. Let's redo this. Saving. All right. There we go. So now this gets the ultimate stack inserters back. Like so. And we get these back. Uh, of course. Um, um, there we go. All right, so now that can go up there to feed those. Excellent. Um, I need stack filter inserters. There we go. Um, there we go. And these are going to be on the green wire. So, and take that over there like so, um, green wire, red wire, okay, now I need my stop. That is correct. Okay. The red wire is my supply line, so that can go into the input. I'm going to need a constant combinator here. Okay. Green wire. You still and what do you have you have more yeesh and what do you have you are picking up do this There we go. Okay, that, that worked. Uh, you are also picking up, interesting. Um, OK. 
Okay. Oh dear. Oh, I, I have a bad jam here. Okay. You are going back to the depot. What have I done here? Holy cow. Okay. That's that's some progress. Um, you are going to do that to cycle this through again. Okay. I really need to add more lights to my builds. Okay. That's helped a little bit there. I'll need to check on that again in a while. Um, so I wanted to look at a supplier. So I pull a green wire out of there. Okay, so I need that. Copy that, I paste it into there. Green wire comes from there into there, and there to there, and there to there, I think. All right, so you are going to have the limit trains to one. You're not going to have her provide priority. Um, provide threshold is 10,000. I think that's the default, but I'll set it anyway. Um, and the rest of that should be good. All right, so I think this station is ready. Um, I'm going to need to get at least the next one built before I start switching my base over. Um, I'm also going to need uh, some more processing. Um, so if I look at the map, we currently have bubmonium, rubite, and sapphirite processing. Uh, oh, and crotinium. So we have four processing uh, and if I go look at my list, one, two, three, four, five, six, I need jibalite and steratite processing. Um, so I need two more ore processing. Now, my new ore processing outposts can be much simpler than these beasts. Because um, they're going to be outputting three to four things, three to four solids max, as opposed to like the six solids that these are outputting. Um, well, plus these solids down here. Those solids will still be there. Uh, and some of them will only be outputting a couple things. Um, so, yeah, my plan is I need to figure out where we're going to be doing this. Like, I'm going to be doing the crystal version of this here. Um, I could technically do one from this side as well, although I would need a lot of landfill to get this lake out of my way. Um... But yeah, I think I think that's a plan. Are you? You unloaded a little, not much. Uh -huh. 
is so bad. Yeah, this is this is not good. I need to I need to sort that out. That was that was a big screw up on my part. Um, but I think we're in a good spot for this episode, so we're gonna call it here. My name is Utoxin. This has been another episode of Utoxin Plays Factorio, and I will see you next time.